welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you an absolutely stunning piece of music, which you might notice is the reoccurring theme from Interstellar. So there is something here for every single level. It starts simple, the theme develops and builds into something a little more complex that will challenge your fingers, but I am here to guide you every step of the way, so let's dive in. Okay, so this song begins with a whole bunch of the note E. So you can take your one finger of your right hand, place it on E. I've got my pedal ready. Now, the tricky thing is here, we are repeating the same note, but we don't wanna crash into it, which is easy to do with the thumb. So make sure you've got really good hand posture and you feel one, two, three, one, two, three. One more measure of that. And we're just gonna focus on the right hand. We're gonna add an A into the equation. Then our five finger moves up to the B and it hangs on. And we're gonna stop there for a second because while that's simple, there is a skill to being able to hold those tied notes. So I'm gonna show you once more. I've got E and A like this at the same time. And my E is going to repeat while I glue this A note down. Then I'm gonna move my five finger up and I'm gonna to remember to hold my five and it's tied into the next measure. So I'm gonna keep that held down. I'm gonna still play one, two, three. Now my four finger comes down. I'm gonna play E and A, E and B, E and C, E and B, and then down to the A here, up to the B, and up to the C. So we're really just kind of moving along, harmonizing with this E. Do, 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 do. And then we repeat the E and back down to the B. It's so pretty out the gates. Now, one thing I just wanted to let you know about is inside piano, we have a practice feature that will actually play the music so you can hear it. You can speed it up, slow it down, loop certain sections. It's such a great tool to help you practice. If you're not in the piano membership, we have a free seven day trial below this video so that you can check it out so you don't miss out on all of the tools that we have for you to help you learn this piece. Okay, let's move on to the next section. So get your hand used to that and then you can add in your left. So I've got my third finger on the note A here and I'm gonna play this again, we'll put it together because all your left hand is doing is moving from A to B and then it's walking down to the A, stepping up to the C, B, A, B, C. It's very simple. So here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three, hold, two, three, one, part of the arrangement. You can get really comfortable there. Remember to infuse it with dynamics and use your pedal and you can lift it anytime the sound starts to get a little bit muddy. So you can just bring your foot up, but hold it down to give it that smooth sound. Now, when we go to measure 13, things change a little bit. So our hand moves, we've got A and E in our right hand and that repeats. And then it goes to B and E. And you think one, two, three, C, E, C, E. starts to sound incredible when you add the left hand which has F and C. One, two, three, and hold. Now everybody's moving so we're gonna have B and E here and I've got G and E. One, two, three, hold, two, three. All you gotta do is move your five up to the A. One, two, three, hold, two, three, five comes down to G. build on that. And so this section on measure 21 can look a little bit scary because they're like big chord shapes, but there's lots of ties. The left hand doesn't do very much at all actually, and it's easier than it looks. So with your right hand, place your thumb on A, your two on E, and your five on this A. So we're going to be traveling from here to here. And if that shape doesn't feel good for you, you can make modifications. You can lose the bottom note if you want. You could play E and A. That will work. But if your hand's ready for it, you're gonna kind of go for this shape, A, E, and A. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're gonna play B, E, and B. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're gonna play C, E, and C. One, two, three, one, two, three. 
I'm gonna teach you a fun little hack because the first time I saw this notated, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I cannot play D and E and uh, all up to D. Like that's gonna break my hand. So you can actually, when notes are side by side, you can hit them together, look. So I'm just hitting them both with my thumb and look at this, it's like magic. So we're gonna take a moment there. I really want you to do this with me. And again, if this shape does not feel good for you, just lose the bottom note. You can play E and A. So pretend you can even get a pencil and cross out the bottom notes if you want to. So here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Then B, E and B, two, three. One, two, three, one. And again, if this feels not good for you, try this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Here's a fun little trick. And again, this is where it really comes to life. It feels so rich and beautiful. We've got F, C, and F. And when we combine that, oh my gosh. Just listen. It's, this is why the song is so stunning. It's cinematic. So we've got A, E, A, F, C, F. So we're just gonna hang on here. One, two, three. Hang on, this doesn't have to play again. One, two, three. Now we're gonna change our shape. So we've got G, D, and G. One, two, three, one, two, three. We're moving again. So C, E, and C, A, E, and A. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now grab this with your thumb and we're gonna move back down. G, D, G. One, two, three, one, two, three. Take a breath. Now that theme is gonna repeat, but it develops a little bit further. And I just wanna take a moment here. If these are starting to feel crunchy for your hands, you can take a moment just to stretch. So you can place your fingers together like this and just kinda of do a nice stretch here. You can gently, gently stretch your thumb back, your pinky forward. You can make a little triangle and, and work on this, stretching here. Um, your fingers can, over time, get more comfortable with this shape. And I just want you to notice when I'm playing octaves, I'm not playing up on the keys like this, I'm playing on the edges of them which makes it much easier to reach. Like I couldn't reach this very comfortably there, but if I'm on the edge of the keys, it's much easier. So take some time to do some finger stretches if you need to, um, and we'll keep going. So this next little section repeats itself in the right hand, but the left hand is doing something a little different, a little busier. So we're playing the same notes, but we're tying them over the measure. So notice where the lines are connecting. You're not gonna play those guys again, but the top note is repeating. So it'll go from measure 29, one, two, three, one, two, three. So these guys are hanging on, and this thumb up here, this F is doing all the work. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then we move on. One, two, three, one, two, three, move on. One, two, three, one, two, three, down, two, three, one, two, three. Then when you put it together, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three. Everybody's gonna move, here's the shape. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. You got it. Now before we move to the next section, make sure you're very comfortable here. And if you need a little extra help, make sure you're taking advantage of the practice tool because you'll be able to isolate certain measures, press play, hear how they sound, slow it down, practice with it, it's so helpful. And if you don't have access to the members area with the practice feature, we've got a free seven day trial for you. Make sure you take advantage of it. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so this next section is where things begin to pick up and our left hand gets a little bit busier. So we've got this really pretty broken pattern in our left. We're gonna be playing F, C, F, C, and we rock up and down there. We repeat that. Then it's gonna move to G, E, G. That repeats. And then we're gonna be playing A, E, A, E. Two times down to the G and at the end of that one you're gonna go down to this low G because we're gonna be doing something crazy next but let's put this together first so when we put this together we're going to be having octaves in our right hand and it's A to E and you need to make sure that you're relaxing as you move between them don't stay stiff and tense here or you're gonna have very sore hands so play chill out on the journey up to the E which is not very much time so you have to be well practiced at that. Do it back and forth a few times. 
And I swear to you, this does get easier. Even if you're playing it now, you're like, this is impossible. Practice, practice, practice. It does get easier. When we put it with the left hand, it's gonna sound like this. And then we're gonna move this to B. Back down to D here. One, two, three. And then we move on to the next section. But I want to do that together one more time just to get settled in and get the hang of it. Here we go. Hands ready. <sighs> Deep breath. Add dynamics if you can. I'm gonna be honest with you, this next part is insane. <laughs> I had to practice this so many times to get it. It's challenging and I felt that I could not do it, um, but I actually can. It took some time though, so I just wanna let you know that this might take some practice. Maybe I'll get it faster than I did. I would be really awesome. But if it takes time, please don't give up because it's so worth it. So the challenge is not with the right hand. We've already played this part. It's just these octaves and there's only two in each measure. The challenge is in the left hand, which is playing this pattern. Which in theory is not that bad. But the challenge is when you have to put the hands together because they, it just feels like it's accenting on a weird spot. So it's going to sound like this. put the dynamics and the drama and the pedal all in later, but that's where it lands. When you're playing it, you want to make sure that this second one, this E is landing on the C as you head back down with the left hand. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is on the two, but whatever the left hand's doing makes it feel like it shouldn't be the two. So comment below and let me know if this is tricky for you, and if it isn't, then hurrah. You're very lucky. So take your time there, go very slowly. If it helps you to count out loud, you can do that. One, two, three. So you know where the beats are because when you're looking at the music, I'm on measure 45. One is where this is, two is where this is, and three is where the rest is. So if you do have access to the sheet music, make sure that you could like print it and maybe draw a line connecting those left and right hand parts where they work together and that may help. Counting may help, repetition will help. So let's do that little section one more time. Okay, if you can do that, this is the hardest part coming up. We have to play G, B, E, B. It's such a big shape. So I cannot reach from here to here with my one hand. Impossible for me. But I can play G, B, E, and even this feels a little bit uncomfortable, so I've had to be consistent with my stretches, but also my wrist rotation. So practice that. I'm not trying to hang on to the notes. I'm playing them and letting them go and traveling. And then this distance, you can practice this. E, B, E, B, E, B, G, B. So G and B is what you're targeting. So when you put this all into one little pattern, it sounds great, but you have to keep that rotation. You cannot keep tension in your hands or it won't work. And you need to spend just, you spend just, this is what happens when I try to play and talk. You need to spend time just working on this movement because it has to be second nature. And what you can do is sing the right hand parts as you play this. So if I know my right hand's gonna be playing this melody, dun, 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 it can be, dun, is over because we're just going to an A minor shape, which feels much better in comparison. And then we're singing da, 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 da. and then back to that crazy one. Ah. And then, and then 
home sweet home because we're just playing these E's, two, three, holding the bottom one. One, two, three, one, two, penny into nothingness. So from measure 45, let's see if we can't put this together. Again, I may be playing this faster than is comfortable for you right now. Take this as slowly as you want. Use the practice tool in the piano members area to help you slow this down so you can play along with it. Make sure you're tracking the tempo correctly, but here we go. Here's the big stretch. too because there's that extra note and I'm not even a hundred percent that I just did that correctly so let's go through that little measure together um measure 52 so we've got this happening here one two three and then we're here with these octaves etc etc all right now I should point out that I was playing this here with my left hand kind of in this slightly above and slightly below middle C position. But if you're following the notation specifically exactly, you should be playing this an octave higher because it's got a treble clef and you guys are sharing, you guys, your thumbs, <laughs> your thumbs are sharing E here in the middle. And then that is the one that's repeating. So go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Three, one, two. You're sort of trying to fade out. You could decrescendo as well. I personally have no issue with you having your hands here if that's more comfortable for you. Go with what sounds best to you and how you want to end the song. Which leads me to my next point. Um, there is so much room for you to take these concepts and spend more time on them and build them out. So once you've developed a really confident foundation with this music, you can really take it anywhere. A really good example of this could be on measure 45, we move the left hand here but you could choose to keep it sort of up higher at the beginning. And then the second round through, you could take it down lower. Um, you can explore with playing this in different places on the piano. You can use the chords of the song to kind of like build out your own ideas. I know when you there, go on the internet and look at interstellar covers, everyone sounds a little bit different. So you should listen to those, take some inspiration and see if you can infuse some of that into this piece and use this as sort of your starting point. I would love to hear what you come up with. So Enjoy the practice. If you have questions, please feel free to comment below this video. We're here to help. Use the practice feature to help you as you go. And once you have this, please record yourself playing it. Share your covers. We would all love to hear them. And most of all, happy practicing.